welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing and comparing the Launch La Volume 2-in-1 blow dryer to the Revlon blow dryer. So I have already put product in my hair. So I put in a thermal heat protectant that protects up to 450 degrees. And since I'm blow drying my hair, I'm going to use my blowout cream. So... And then I've also put in this cream for my split ends. I like to put in all these products before I apply any kind of heat to my hair. I'm gonna do the Launch La Volume on the right side of my hair and then the Revlon on the left side. That way you guys can really see the comparison between the two. Now I will say right now that the Launch feels a little bit heavier than the Revlon. The Revlon's a little bit more lightweight and I wouldn't say it's heavy, it's just it, you can kind of tell the difference that this one weighs a little bit more. However, that does not matter to me because what matters is how it's going to leave my hair, right? So um, this one is a titanium plate. This one's a ceramic plate. Titanium has always worked better for me and for my hair um, just because it is coarse and frizzy. This one tends to leave it a little bit more frizzy when I use anything that's ceramic. So we will see the difference between the two. Um, if you have not seen my launch video, I will link it above for you so that you can check out how it left all of my hair in my previous video. So what I'm going to be doing is going three minutes on one side with one blood dryer and three minutes on the other side. That way you guys can really see what it looks like after three minutes with each one. I have already brushed my hair. Now these are brush dryers. However, you're going to have a better experience if your hair is already brushed out. It's just going to be a lot smoother going through. Both of these have a cool, low, and high setting, right? Cool, low, high. Okay, so these sound different. Okay, so I will tell you right now that the low volume is um, quieter than the red one. So I'm going to start on low just because my hair is still a little bit damp. And then if you want volume, you're going to go up and out. You're really going to try to get to that root. Now you can see I'm grabbing some of this hair back here. Um, so if you want to section it off even more, you can. Up and out. Okay, three minutes. All right guys, it's been three minutes. Three minutes on low. So you can tell that it's still a little bit wet. Okay, you can tell this one's air drying a little bit. Um, my hair does take a really long time to dry. Even when I blow dry it, I use this. My hair, it's just a lot of it. So if you have thinner hair, finer hair, it's obviously gonna take less time. Okay, so let's do three minutes on the left side with the red one. So like I showed you, there is a off, cool, is this backwards? There's an off, cool, low, and high. Okay, so we're gonna start on the low. So. Here's the low, so listen to the sound. This is low for the launch. Okay, low. This is low for the red one. Okay, and I forgot to mention, anytime that you finish, so I did all of this on low, so once I go over it again, you always want to end it with the cool setting just to really seal in everything you've done to your hair. So I'm not quite done yet, so I didn't do the cool setting, but before I forget to mention that. Okay, I'm gonna start on low, three minutes with the red one. This is on the low setting with the red one, the launch one. I don't know if you can see the difference. So this is Revlon side. You can see that it's still a little bit wet. I will say I noticed that the low setting on the Revlon is a little bit warmer. Now, kind of scares me because if I were to put it on high, I feel like it would burn me. Or, you know, not like literally, but like it would be way too much heat um, for my hair. So this is the launch. You can see it's a little bit wet still. And I have better lighting on the side, so you can really see the wetness and it doesn't look more frizzy to me on either side. I don't know about you guys. I can tell that I need to bring my color up in my hair, but 
Okay, let's keep going. So now I'm going to do three minutes on high on the right side with the launch and then three minutes on high with the red one. Okay, so this is what the high sounds like. Let me show you what the high sounds like for this. Okay, this one's definitely louder. And I did feel more heat with this one than this one um, for the high. Three minutes. Okay, I'm getting hot. I have my little mini fans going. Now I'm gonna do one minute on cool for the launch and then be done with this section. Okay, one minute on cool. That's it. So I will say that the cool settings on these um, are not like the cool settings on a blow dryer because um, with both of these, I feel like it's not cool. It's just less than the low heat, but it's not cool like you would feel on a blow dryer. Okay, now let's do three minutes on high for this left side for the red one. Let's see how it turns out. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Good thing I put the 450 heat protection on this side because this gets way hotter than the launch on the high setting. Like really, really hot. That's why you might've seen me in a couple that I was like just going away from my face and not touching it. So if you're using the Revlon one, make sure you are for sure using a thermal protectant, something to protect against heat. Cause this is really, really hot. Um, let's try the cool setting now on one minute. Okay, they feel about the same on the cool setting um, as far as not being that cool. They're just lightly warm. Okay, so this is doing the exact same time um, with the launch and the red one. So this is the launch side, okay? My hair still feels a little bit damp here, um, but my hair at the roots usually stays pretty damp unless I let it air dry for a while, so. Okay, this is the Revlon. So far, it's feeling the same on both sides. It's looking very similar. I have fans going, so that's why my hair is kind of blowing. I think where it's going to make a big difference is when I do this mid section because the higher I get up on my hair, the drier it is. So that's when you're really gonna see the difference. I'm gonna start sectioning it off. Do, I'm gonna do the same thing. Three minutes, three minutes, one minute cool down, one minute cool down. I'll fast forward through that. That way you just don't have to go through it. Um, and then I'll kind of show you the end product once I'm up here, okay? Let me show you the back of this before I put this down. All right guys, I am done with the three minutes on each side with low and high. And then I also already did the cool setting. I can confirm now that this is so much hotter than the launch one. Um, I have to keep like pulling away from my face and my ear and then even my hand to touch my hair. Or, duh. Um, it, my hair's really hot, so it, it kind of hurts to do that, so then I just kind of let it go. This side, I'm not having problems with the heat and touching my hair afterward. Each setting seems a little bit higher, so the low setting on the red one one is warmer than the low setting on the launch one, and the high setting on the red one one is a lot hotter than the high setting on the launch. So, let's keep going. I'm gonna do the top of my hair, and then we'll see the end results. Okay, disclaimer, I'm usually not a middle part kind of girl. I feel like that happens in seasons. Usually I part to the side, but for this video's purposes, I will do down the middle.
So this is it. Same amount of time on high, low, and cool. This is the launch side. My roots on both sides are still a little bit damp. Rub one side. I don't know if you guys notice on this lighting, but this side is a little bit more frizzy. Now that could be for different reasons, but this side's a little bit more frizzy than this side. Okay, let me show you guys the back. It looks like they actually both did pretty similar. Um, the main difference I noticed is that the Revlon, like I've said throughout this video, is so much hotter than the launch one. I don't like that. I don't like having to pull away from my face or like not being able to use my hands on my hair because it's so hot. I feel like in the long run, that is going to be damaging to your hair. Ceramic side, titanium side, um, a little bit less expensive. Now it kind of depends what deals you can get on the launch website um, for the La Volume. Now I will leave the Revlon and the launch links down below. If you end up buying either or, let me know what your experience is, what your hair type is. Now I will also leave a hair quiz on my description so that once you take that quiz, it's kind of like a consultation. So I will reply to you either by email, phone number, Instagram, and to let you know what products might be best for your hair. Now, if it was up to me and they were like someone were to tell me choose now, which one would you choose? I would 100% choose the La Volume because it's titanium plates. I don't have to pull my hair away from it because it gets so hot. I feel like it's a decent heat and my hair is not going to get as damaged as it would, I feel like, with the red one. Now, if I were to use both over time on each side of my hair, then I'm sure we could see the differences. However, I'm not gonna do that. But depends on what your needs are, what you're able to afford, then that's the route that I would go. So they both have the combo bristle brushes, so the big bristles and these little bristles down here. They both have this on top. I say this. Um, this so that you can hold on to it. Those don't get very hot, but I don't want my hand anywhere close to this when I'm blow drying it. Um, I'm not knocking this one down completely. It's just a little bit too hot for my liking. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time that I post a new video.